Hey YouTube, this is Barack Ativo. Today I would like to discuss <clears throat> how come no woman on YouTube has ever offered me sympathy pussy? How come no females ever show me no love on YouTube? How come during my comment section women never comment on my shit? I just don't understand. I don't get why women why women in general don't ever, you know, show me no love in real life, on dating sites, anywhere I go. Women, I feel in my heart, always feel some type of way about me. No matter what I do, no matter, you know, no matter how much weight I lose, no matter if I get haircuts or dress a certain way. I believe that it all boils down to how you look physically to a woman. Women do approach men that they find attractive. If a woman never approaches me, that's how I know in my heart that I'm an ugly dude to all women. No woman has ever pulled her big panties up and ever stepped to me and asked me for a date. No woman has ever offered me a date. No woman has ever offered me sex. No woman has ever offered me a kiss. I only had one girlfriend in my lifetime, and she's been gone for over a year. So, it just tells me that I'm an I'm a ugly person to all women. Women just find me physically unattractive. <laughs> and I just, sometimes you gotta look at yourself and you gotta realize that, hey, maybe you're just not that type of dude that women want. Sometimes you may have to just live your life by yourself. You know, and I don't understand why women hate me. Like, they always feel some type of way about me. And I just, I don't really know, like, why women just are cruel to me. I have no idea. I haven't done nothing to none of these women out of my real life. I don't speak to them. And they don't speak to me, so I don't waste my time trying to talk to a woman because I already know already she's going to turn me down. So why even keep trying to start over and over and over and over and over and over again trying to talk to these women when, when they're just going to shoot you down and confidence really doesn't have any rele relevancy when it comes towards trying to attract a mate because a woman only wants a confident guy that she finds attractive. A woman don't want no confident, ugly dude that she don't want because she's just going to ignore you, blow you off, you know, give you a fake number, give you a real number. I always ignore you and text you hours later. And I'm tired of the whole dating scene. I'm tired of this fucking life. And my birthday is going to be on Monday. You know, I'll be 26 this Monday. But we're going to celebrate my party on this Saturday. We're going to have, you know... Three slabs of baby back ribs, squash, corn, and baked beans, and pecan pie, and funfetti cake, and ice cream, and of course some liquor or wine or whatever. I may get a few dollars from somebody. I don't know. But as far as me having a love life, a love life is not going to be for me. Not everybody is meant for a love life. A love life is not for everybody. Not everybody can be good looking to somebody. There is not a person for everybody. It's not. You know, I can, I can honestly say uh, deep deep within inside my heart that there's no woman on this earth that would ever date me. Because number one, I have autism slash Asperger's syndrome. I have OCD. I have depression. I have like very, very, very low self-esteem from all the bullying and all the anguish and the bad memories from my past. And I just know as far as me trying to have love in my life, it's not going to come. Love is not for everybody. So pretty much what I really want to say is that, especially in the black community, we have a lot of people in the black community that believe in, in, in blaming the person. They want to blame you and tell you that that is your problem, that you need to step your game up, that you need swag and confidence and this and that. But all of that 
really doesn't matter about what you feel about yourself because at the end of the day the woman you have to be the woman's physical type now for granted i'm not saying that confidence is, is having having confidence is a bad thing it's a good thing to have confidence but as far as you having a love life a love life is something that's totally out of your control in life you had the power to control your future as far as you getting a good education getting you a trade skill, getting you a good job, getting your own shit and this and that. But as far as the love life and the dating scene, that's out of your control because you can't make nobody find you attractive. You can't make nobody want to have sex with you. You can't make nobody date you. You know, you, you can complain, you can moan, you can gripe all day long, but you can't make nobody like you. You can't make nobody date you. You can't make nobody find you attractive. So I realized me crying, complaining, being bitter, being sour inside my heart. At the end of the day, I'm only hurting myself. These women that I'm so bitter about, I guarantee you, they're at their houses resting their head at night, not even giving a fuck about me. But I'm over here holding shit up against a, 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 a female who turned me down in the past. And I realized that I would save more energy, I would save my heart, I will save my health by not even worrying about women in general. Because that is something that is totally out of your control. You know, even if you do work out, even if you do all these things to better yourself, it still doesn't guarantee a love life because at the end of the day, like I said before, you can't make nobody find you attractive. But for granted, a woman can say, oh I want a guy in shape, but she ain't gonna want every guy that's in shape because not every guy's gonna be her type because she may have shit that she wants like certain things you can't control like your height, your skin complexion, your eye color, and this and that. So you can't make nobody date you or find you attractive. And love life is not for everybody, pretty much by 